Lynn Conway, an important influence in the development of the modern microprocessor, has been present at several key moments in the computer's historical timeline. This is no mere coincidence. Lynn Conway is a brilliant innovator and a computer science visionary. In the mid-60s, while working at IBM, she made foundational contributions to superscalar computer architecture, a breakthrough that allowed for dramatically accelerated throughput of a single CPU. This gave rise to the innovation of multiple issue DIS, Dynamic Instruction Scheduling. On the education forefront, Professor Conway co-authored the famous Mead Conway text, pioneering a new form of university course and launching a worldwide revolution in very large-scale integrated system design, VLSI, in the late 1970s. She also innovated the internet-based rapid chip prototyping infrastructure. This supported the rapid development of thousands of chip designs and made possible many of the startups in the 1980s. A professor of electrical engineering and computer science, emerita at the University of Michigan, Lynn Conway has received much recognition for her contributions, including elevation to IEEE Fellow, receipt of the Wetherill Medal of the Franklin Institute, induction into the Electronic Design Hall of Fame, and election as a member of the National Academy of Engineering. Decade by decade, Lynn Conway has found herself at the center of one computer revolution after another. A remarkable scientist and a passionate educator, Lynn Conway is a well-deserving recipient of this Computer Pioneer Award. Lynn has indeed had a remarkable impact on the course of computer history. We are proud to add her to the ranks of the acknowledged computer pioneers. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lynn Conway. It's great to be here with you this evening, and I, I'm just thrilled to receive this award. I feel really deeply honored, and uh, I want to thank the Computer Society so much for this. You know, I've been reflecting on the uh, accomplishments of the folks being honored here tonight, and, and just can't help but sense what an amazing era we're living in. Um, you know, it's a time when so many people in our field can join great outfits and have great careers, and most amazingly, see their ideas become realities in the world and impact the world. And uh, so many people in our field have that experience. And I want you to sort of think about people in all the other fields you know, how few of them ever have that happen to them. Um, we're, we're really fortunate to work in a field like that where we can have that kind of, of, of meaning added into our lives especially in a time of great uncertainty uh, for so many others. Uh, I've been extremely lucky. Um, I think I, I, if I reflect on my career, uh, luck's played a big role. Uh, I, I've been most fortunate working at two of the coolest research outfits ever in computing, IBM Advanced Computing Systems back in the 1960s, and then, of course, Xerox Palo Alto Research Center in the uh, 1970s. At both places, I was lucky to have some cool ideas beamed down to me and, and uh, be in a team environment where other people were getting great ideas and you could work together to really make those things happen. And, uh, and so, you know, sure there's preparation and hard work, but, but sometimes you just have to be in a place where there's gold to be found, and when you see it, know what it is and really go for it. As I, uh, as I look back on all this, I do so with actually quite a sense of wonder. Um, it's almost like, did this all really happen or has this been a dream? And, uh, but it really did happen, and oh my, what a ride it's been. So um, I want to th thank the Computer Society again for honoring me with this award and for having this great evening where we can all come together 
and share our adventures with each other. Thank you so much. <laughs>